Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and I've got a day off here, and we're going to come and look and see what the African night crawlers are doing in the urban worm bag. Now, I did a little bit of a harvest on the bottom, but there was still quite a few uh, worms in there and unfinished castings. So I opted to just pour it back on the top, and I'll keep doing that until it works itself out. So right now, I'm looking to see what they've done. That's interesting. I don't think I've actually seen them poking holes in the avocado shell before. That's weird. Ooh, weird. Look at that. Huh, that's cool. All right, let's see if we can find those bananas. I put a whole package of bananas in here. And I'm interested to see what they've done with it this week. Hmm, it's a little warm. It actually smells a little fermenty. You know, that is just totally the difference between red wigglers and European night crawlers and African night crawlers. There, there would be nothing left if this was a red wiggler bin. Nothing at all. But you know, worm farming on this scale is you know it's a it's a learning journey. It really is and you learn what kind of worms in your particular system, what they like, what they can do, what they can't do, and um, you just move on. Oop, okay, woke him up. He didn't like that. Uh, you know, you just, you learn what, what works for your system, what works for you in your area, and, um, and then you go with it, basically can't fight mother nature and all that business so the whole big batch of bananas which in my opinion if it had happened in a red wiggler bin we would have seen a massive massive worm ball after a week but the African night crawlers just are not all that interested in the nitrogen sources and as you can tell all the cardboard I put in there has definitely been knocked down by a factor of 10 since the last time I've looked at it same story if if there was you know that in any other bin they would have there'd be a bunch of them in there but I'm gonna bury up all the food here and dig through and see what else is going on see if I can find any evidence of anything interesting going on you can see they do get into this into the mango shells but the the level of excitement with the African night crawlers, except for their dancing, they love to dance, um, is just not what you see with the other ones, at least not in my system, you know, in my particular situation. I just don't see them making worm balls for um, things like bananas like you would with the European night crawlers and red wigglers and blue worms. So I'm just going to fluff everything up here and bury everything back down and everything's starting to look really worked over so hopefully the next harvest that I do will be a good one and I won't have to toss it back in the top um, it's it's a learning curve I mean anybody who expects that the professional systems that you buy to be plug-and-play um, you know if you if you're right about that that's that's great for you but for most people you do find that you do have to relearn if you've started out with the bin systems, just the regular totes, you would do learn that the bags behave differently and the worms behave differently in them. So, yeah, I, I do see quite a bit of worms, but not quite a bit of big ones. So wherever the big ones are, they're not right here on top where I can show them to you guys. All right, not super exciting, 
but this is the Urban Worm Bag with the African Nightcrawlers. Give me a muddy thumbs up if you like this video. Click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and uh, ring the little bell no notification if you'd like to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good night.